是，对。Or else, going to talk about the average cost and the relationship between marginal cost. When we look at the average cost, there is a very, very important thing to remember: is the average, the marginal cost will go through the minimum point of average cost. It's really important. And on the left-hand side of the minimum point, the marginal cost is lower than average cost. And the on the right-hand side of the minimum point, marginal cost is higher than average cost. It can be derived mathematically. Let's look at here. Let's do the derivative because the slope of average cost at a minimum point is equal to zero. Okay. It has to be zero. Right? It's perfectly elastic, the slope. So how can we derive the re relationship between two complicated curves? Let's do first order condition. It will be calculus. So average cost is equal to total cost derived by Q. Now some people don't know how to do this derivative, but we can use other version. Will be relatively simple. So AC would be equal to TC multiply Q power negative one. Derivative. Yeah. So let's do TC derivative multiply. Q power negative one plus Q negative one power negative one derivative multiply total cost will equal to marginal cost by definition. You really have to by definition because the total cost, the derivative of the the first order condition of the total cost. Is marginal cost because changing total cost divided by changing Q is marginal cost. Okay, let's think about the definition here. Changing total cost, every unit lead a、uh, relevant higher total cost. That's the definition of the marginal cost, and this is. First order, first order condition of the total cost. Okay. So let's erase this. Now let's keep simplify. Q power negative one plus negative one here. Multiply Q negative one minus one. Bracket multiply total cost. Okay. And here equal to MC divided by Q minus Q square denominator TC divided by Q square will be equal to zero because at the minimum point, the first order condition of average cost is equal to zero. Is equal to slope minimum point. We have this condition is point E here. Yeah. Keep simplify. M C multiply Q because I multiply Q square on the both side. On the both side, so. Here multiply q square multiply by q square multiply q square will be equal to m c multiply q minus t c equal to zero. So now we will have a relationship like this: m c equal to t c divided by q will be equal to a t c. Therefore, under first order condition. At a minimum point,
MC will equal to ATC. So marginal cops have to go through the minimum point of average total cost. Now let's um, look at the left hand side of the um, Much minimum point and the right hand side of the minimum point. Let's re establish the relationship of this one. Because on the left hand side, the slope of ATC is smaller than zero. So, slope of ATC is smaller than zero. And uh, we can have this relationship mc multiply q minus tc is smaller than zero then we have mc smaller than atc divided by q smaller than atc so on the left hand side of the minimum point MC has to be so has to be lower than ATC has to be uh, lower than average total cost. Alternatively, on the right hand side of the uh, minimum point, we still have this relationship, but uh, ATC should be greater than zero. The slope of ATC because it's positively sloped. Now we have this relationship here. MC multiply Q minus TC greater than zero. So MC is greater than TC divided by Q divide, uh, equal to ATC. So in conclusion, at minimum point, MC have to uh, equal to ATC here, right here. But on the right hand side of the minimum point, the MC have to be greater than ATC on the other hand, the MC has to be slower than uh, ATC on the left-hand side of the minimum point. Thank you very much. You agree? You agree? How's that?